52. Is spiritualism growing? What prospects of its general acceptance by the masses? If by spiritualism is meant the organized movement it must be frankly admitted that it waxes and wanes with the varying conditions and the different workers in each locality. Many societies and churches under settled pastors and with efficient mediumship, show increasing strength and solidity and others decrease in effectiveness. If by the growth of spiritualism, however, is meant the progress of the spiritualistic teaching and the general acceptance of its fundamental ideas. Then it may be boldly asserted that no other form of religious teaching in the world is making more rapid headway. A mighty tide of thought and sentiment in favor of the main propositions of spiritualism is sweeping over the world. The signs of the times are so many and so apparent that all who read and think must perceive the world's growth toward the spiritual philosophy of life and death. 53. What are some of the more obvious proofs of the rapid advance of human thought toward spiritualism? 1. The great change in pulpit teaching during the last 25 years. Ministers today are not teaching what they did a quarter of a century ago. They are teaching what they did not formerly teach. The changes are all in the direction of spiritualism. 2. The more liberal attitude of the press. Today many of the leading magazines and many of the leading papers in the largest cities of the land are exploiting spiritualism by publishing the writings of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Mrs. Wilcox, Sir Oliver Lodge, Rev. Robert Wynne of London, England, and other converts to spiritualism. 3. Spiritualism is getting more unsolicited and free advertising in the press than any other liberal cult. Christian science articles are paid for but the leading editors are exploiting spiritualism in response to a popular demand. 3. The radical change in the funeral services of today proves that the optimistic and spiritualistic teaching regarding death has supplanted the gloomy and pessimistic teaching of the past days. 4. The growing demand for spiritual literature and for seances and sittings with mediums proves that the hearts of the people are turning toward spiritualism for instruction and comfort. 5. The fact that the leading book publishers of New York City, Boston and other cities, who a few years ago turned down all books upon this subject, are now publishing very many of the most popular books on spiritualism is proof that the tide of public sentiment runs strongly toward spirit communion.